My name is Sharthel Arthur Esner. I was a dancer with the Joffrey Ballet for 13 years as a young person. Mr. Joffrey's influence in the American dance was really absolutely amazing. He always wanted a very American company. Not that he didn't do European, you know, ballets, or, but he really wanted American company. And he put together a company that was very eclectic. His teaching was very eclectic. He took, he took, he took things from the Vaganova technique, the Cicchetti technique, the Bournonville technique. So his teaching in the studio itself was very eclectic. Mr. Joffrey as a director was, again, really marvelous because he was a very particular person. His, just his whole personality. He really put together um, his personality it reflected certainly into his, um, his, his style for his company and everything was very meticulously done. The, the stage was perfect, the costumes were perfect, the music was perfect, the dancing was perfect as much as it could be. <laughs> the inspiration for Pas de Diaz was an, a lithograph from 1846 by an artist named Jules Bouvier. And uh, Mr. Joffrey saw this lithograph, a, a composition of three uh, of the most famous female dancers and the most famous male dancer of the, of the 1840s. And Mr. Joffrey saw this lithograph and thought that would be a wonderful opening pose for a ballet. And he put together this ballet about 25 minutes with the three most famous ballerinas of the Romantic era and, and the male dancer. The Romantic style of ballet is indeed very recognizable if, if you know what to look for. It was, the time, it was just after the usage of the point shoes, going up onto point. The dresses were very, very long, always just slightly below the, the knee. Uh, lots of lace and um, very, very feminine, very feminine. So a lot of the gestures are very gentle, but the romantic ballet of, say, La Sophie and Pas de Diaz has very gentle, very gentle arms, very inclined uh, head. A lot of similarities between the two ballets, the Pas de Diaz being um, not, uh, not a story ballet, uh, no story at all, but, but the, char the characterizations are very individual. I have to say Oklahoma City Ballet has really taken the ballet under the wings, uh, attacked the, it's, it's very difficult to look, make things look very easy. And they really have been working extremely hard on it. And it, it's been a joy to work with them. And then of course, we, we have a new premiere on the program, which is going to be entirely different. And so it's, it's, it's wonderful for audiences to ha see that diversity.